Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight is a special commission meeting. Meeting is being scheduled for uh, Wednesday, April 27th, 2016, at 8 p.m. at the commission chambers, 500 Southwest 109th Avenue. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Clerk will note the absence of Mayor Lopez and Commissioner Maroño. Okay, let's stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. Dear Lord and Celestial Father, thank you for your blessings, your protection, and your guidance in every instance of our lives. Bless this meeting. Bless this city, O oh Lord, and bless those that are sick, those that are in need, those that have a lost, and stay all along this meeting and guide us to decide always for the betterment of our citizens. Also remember those that are putting their life on the line of uh, fire to defend our freedom and our democracy. Guide us and bless us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay, uh, we're going to open the meeting to the public. So if there is any public coming from the audience, this is the time. No one is coming forward. Public comments are closed. Item number five. An update, briefing on the Tiger Grant. Robert. Yes, uh, good evening, everybody. Um, good evening. Once again, we're back. Uh, about four weeks ago, um, given this uh, short notice opportunity, we came to you frantically uh, to be able to um, draft the all-stars that we needed to play in this uh, big league um, grant pursuit. Uh, accordingly there, um, specifically in the memos uh, regarding uh, impact fees and payments to the consultants, basically the broad areas were outlined of what this project would be. And in a nutshell, this is, you know, this is not your average improvement project to a city. This is actually a, a visionary, a uh, couple of centuries ahead project, literally, with our partner FIU. Um, what has been accomplished throughout these weeks have been nothing short of remarkable. Uh, not only do we have uh, Ken Stapleton, our economic developer, and the gentleman who's putting this together, Frank Alonzo, our engineer, and uh, architect Elizabeth Cardona, but also um, there's Tom Gustafson and a team of unsung heroes over at FIU who have been uh, working on a variety of components, including technology, maps, etc., to make this uh, a reality. Um, after, for all of us, for many uh, seven-day weeks, uh, we, what we may come together is, as was described before in the general areas, uh, what was promised. Um, this grant, first and foremost, TIGER is transit-oriented. Um, that's what we're concentrating on precisely. Uh, the promise that we made to make more complete streets, that's the direction that our city is moving in. Uh, a complete street that's inviting. It's statistically known, roughly, most studies back up that 40 to 60 percent of students coming from outside an area do not have a vehicle. Well, we need streets that are that are more walkable, more uh, that you can ride a bicycle on. Pedestrian uh, friendly. Pedestrian friendly that feel safe. And yes, cars can transit on them, but it's about giving everybody the same type of opportunity. We are working towards complete streets on 109th Avenue. 107th Street, that's been drawn out, and every min intersection between there. Second Street, Fourth Street, every street's gonna get a lift. To that end, um, resiliency uh, is one key core concept of the U.S. Uh, Tiger Grant and of the U.S. government. What does that mean? It means survival and what could happen in nowadays' conditions and what's um, forecasted for tomorrow. So to that end, um, this grant <laughs> in order to give us a bump up uh, so that make sure that we're safe, that the city's safe, we'll redo <coughs> all the streets in the University City area. And I know Commissioner Dawson will like that, and I think everybody else will. It will redo all streets if we win uh, the funding. Additionally, uh, we are putting upwards of six bus stops in the city because this is, not, this, this is not only about students, not even that. This is about the person who needs to get to a job somewhere in another side of town and who doesn't have, happen to have a car. 
This is for our burgeoning elderly population. Nobody here is getting younger. Nobody is going backwards. So, <laughs> uh, you know, people also deserve an opportunity to be able to walk down the street and catch a bus. Uh, we are too, you know, <coughs> vehicle intensive here in Miami-Dade County. That's beyond the shadow of a doubt. We are putting transit stops. Piggybacking on that, we are going for four um, low carbon emission solar powered buses. And also, and this is, um, and well, and to the, on the non uh, sexy end, let me also for a pedestrian bridge over Flagler. Whoever has been to Flagler 107th can truly appreciate that it's just as tough to cross as, one, as 8th Street and 109th Avenue. That also. Now we get into the innovative part that we got into the buses. Um, <coughs> anybody who's read Time Magazine or the newspaper as of lately knows that the, the federal government and the government agencies are after self-driving vehicles. Uh, thanks to Tom Gustafson and friends in FIU, we have teamed up with Embry-Riddle and UCF, authorities on driverless vehicles, and we are gonna go after at least four driverless vehicles throughout this grant. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> A tiger, if we just or if we just say we want to fix roads and do a couple of bus stops and buses, uh, guess what? The rest of the nation is doing that. You know, we might as well put peanut butter and jelly and plaid suits in there and call it a day. So this this application needs to have some originality in it. That's what the self-driving vehicles are. Aside from that, um, <clears throat> friends from Embry Riddle and UCF has, have also helped uh, to innovate uh, what's a simulator lab. That means that a Streetwater resident can come in here and see what the bus ride feels like, where it goes. But in addition to that, this could also be used, this is used on police forces, it's used for emergency testing. This would be very, very cutting edge. And on top of that, the most practical everyday use is that would be the UTMA's office until they uh, get an external location. So it would serve as a UTMA office. For that, <clears throat> you know, whether we hit the grant or not, we will pray that we get it. If it does happen, the carport that is below us right now would be an ideal site. But, you know, we can cross that bridge when we get there, uh, no pun intended. <clears throat> but um, a simulator lab is another one of the uh, more innovative parts of this. Also, an expansion of ITPA. Um, I'd be more than happy to invite anybody from this commission over to FIU to see how ITPA has, involved, has evolved. Simply put, it's going to be a Uber for our uh, transit fleets. So it's going to be a way to know what buses are where, how could you reserve one, how far away are they. But this is also an opportunity uh, to expand that capacity. Um, for one, uh, a data gathering where, where trips go, where people go, uh, things that will make the, the system more effective. It also helped to push it out to the uh, fleet of 14 that we're contemplating because for now with the UTMA we have 10, but if we get four more vehicles that'll be 14. Uh, ITPA will be expanded. That's the innovative part of this grant. So uh, hopefully as you've been able to synthesize, um, this innovates kind of the, the bricks and mortar, your typical transit improvements, and uh, fuses it with technology that will make this application um, uh, very competitive. If we just go for a couple of buses and parks, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna be there with everybody else. Um, those are some of the, the cornerstones uh, of this grant. Um, it's about a $30 million ask. So. Mr. Chair? <coughs> Go ahead, Commissioner Berg. Yeah. Uh, are we going to be able to incorporate later on? Because we talked about doing something on 107th and 4th for the school, for people that go across. Some kind uh, of well, crosswalk. Yes. On Southwest 4th Street and 107th Avenue, like I said, are complete streets. And that's what, to rewind even farther back, um, this grant is going to help us do a better connection between the engineering campus, the city, and the South Campus. Because for now with Tiger One, what we started is, I mean, a phenomenal connection with only the South Campus. On that end, Tiger One's only gonna fix up the street for a couple of blocks. So the, the purpose here was to form new connections and to just further the momentum being fostered by Tiger One. So to that end, yes, the, the, what we call the complete streets and the safe crossings have spilled out to 107th on Southwest 4th Street and I believe also on the, on the second street um, intersection. So on there, on all sides, it's also going to give um, uh, bicycles a way into Southwest 4th Street safely across 107th Avenue, bicyclists. And it's also going to make um, Southwest 4th Street from 107th to 105th, just the road, a lot nicer and a little more pedestrian friendly and with some pavers, a little bit more your permeable. Um, so it's going to also set the stage there for a nicer area on that side. Great. But nothing intrusive. <clears throat> 
Uh, number six, move for discussion. Uh, a question. Uh, I say move for discussion. Okay. About what? Number six. We haven't gone to the number six yet. Will you copy for number six? I haven't called number six. I got you saying, hey, okay. But Robert, six. what is this uh, part here that says sustainability of the sea level rise initiative? Uh, that's a Tom, uh, <laughs> Tom's initiative to control the sea levels? <laughs> that um, actually, it's to um, through this grant movement and through the involvement of students of FIU and everybody. That is eventually there. There is a plan to maybe one day um, make enough of a ripple um, to maybe have a climate conference here in uh, Miami-Dade County. At first, it's to you know to foster the all right the inclusion I don't know of how all these about audiences. That, that link to 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 the tiger ground, but we will consider that's, it. That's part of the simulator that we're proposing, also that would show kind of the effects, you know, of different uh, scenarios, uh, weather type right. scenarios. So. Thank you, Robert. And the raising of the roads, we get the roads fi uh, fixed through this, through the bumping them up. We're going to raise them to go against Levo, Levo, right? uh, whether it's something you believe in or you don't. Um, they, you know, we, we, we have experiences here with water. And Absolutely. we know that we're cradled between Flagler and Southwest 8th Street. That's factual. So to get a little bump up is not a bad thing. And you know what? To get all the roads redone if we do win this. That'll be phenomenal. Yes, sir. OK, so we move to item number six, open for discussion. And um, just one thing, to put this out there, uh, there's a concept here called Plaza Centro, uh, which would be a parking garage across the street and possibly a new city hall. Um, that is being proposed here as part of the larger strategic plan, not to get funded by the grant itself, but perhaps as a P3 project and perhaps something that the city in the future, with everybody's consent, um, that between the city and the P3 could be funded in the future. So that's being put as kind of, uh, you know, just a city vision to establish a larger project because the federal government does not want to give you just a little grant for a little area and then, okay, by federal government, you, you, Stop they want for the city by. to keep on putting in. And you know what? We, we have a colossal, we have parking issues and also, you know, we're here, we're getting kind of big for our bridges. So this is something uh, I can envision the city working on in the future. So we put it kind of as a match if it's okay with the, with the commission. Okay, Robert. Thank you. Any comments on item six? Commissioner Duasso? I say move for discussion. I move. Okay. Move six. I have a motion for discussion. I have, uh, Mr. Attorney, a couple of questions for you, sir. Certainly. I had it for the mayor, but the mayor is not present. I don't see no one there. Uh, Mr. President, you have, a, you, you have a, a motion on the floor, but I don't know if you have a second. What a motion to pass a resolution? Or no, for no, 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 no. Oh, second, second. Okay. I have a motion by Commissioner Duas and a second by Commissioner Bergignan, and it's open for discussion. Uh, here on on, uh, on the NC uh, uh, proposal on page 205 on the, on the lower portion that is. Uh, a note that says, uh, NC office will produce drawing documents and will work with the city consultant signed by the city of Sweetwater who will write the zoning ordinance. And who are those consultants? Um, at this point, frankly, you have uh, a component of this grant application that, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong Robert, includes uh, basically a big planning component and as part of that planning component uh, mm -hmm. there will be some 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 amendments to to the code uh, I know that he talks about city consultants here uh, some of those consultants uh, are, are incorporated here to do those planning studies okay uh, ultimately he, what happens later on I think it's kind of too early to tell at this point based okay. on what you get out of this effort, uh, frankly, so. Uh, okay, and on the, on the following paragraph, it said additional services. And uh, it said additional services outside the written scope are not included. This includes any architectural construction drawings, engineering, permitting, construction, other architecture, and urban design related assignments. Additional service may be provided if requested 
and legally allowed to be issued by the by um, uh, issued to NC office by the city by the city shall be approved by the mayor and were required by the commission prior to commencement or additional work. I don't, I don't, it, it seems to be a little bit unclear to me. Explain me the, the legal. Uh, yes, sir. It says NC office, I mean, issued to NC office by the, by the city should be approved by the mayor and were required by the city commission. I would prefer a language that said by the mayor and the city commission. Um, frankly, what you have in that language is essentially a, a limitation on the scope of service of this agreement. In other words, what it's saying is it tells you in the agreement what the consultant will do. This part is basically telling you what is not included in the agreement. And if the city were to request that this consultant perform any other work listed here, he, all that is saying is that it will have to be approved by the mayor. Where and where required by, and the, where city required by the city commission. In, in other words, frankly, because it will be additional scope, it would also be additional money, and you are not leaving in this agreement any contingency funding. In other words, there will not be discretionary funding that perhaps the administration could use. Ultimately, it will be the commission that would approve any additional funding for any additional services that the city may want this consultant to perform. So in reality, it, it will come back to, to the, the commission, commission no matter what. All right. Now we go to page four out of five, invoicing. Uh, most of our clients, uh, the payment scale sell, are uh, within 30 days after the invoice. And I see here at 15 days. Client will receive invoices on interval base of on payment scale. Payment is due within 15 days after the invoice. Uh, I would prefer to have 30 days after the invoice. The commission may, may go ahead and, 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 and amend that portion of uh, do, do you think there'll be any? No, any that's, uh, the, the city has its, you know, payment um, ways of paying. That's not mm -hmm. a major thing. Ultimately, you remember, you also have Florida statutes that allow municipalities a certain time frame for, for payment. I know that this contractually limits us to 15 days or 30 as if amended by, by this right. body. So and that's up to, right? <laughs> if the... That, payments is due within days. 15 mm -hmm. days after Seven. the invoice. Most contracts oh. that payments are due mm -hmm. no later than 30 days after the invoice. I would suggest my colleagues to evaluate that. Oh, but, back to the chair? Yes. <laughs> but it also says here, the client will receive invoices at intervals based on a payment schedule. So you're going to know when you're getting these invoices beforehand. You're going to tell them what... They're going to tell you, and when you make the They're going to tell us. That's the problem. Well, you're going to have a schedule. You're going to know. Okay. Client will receive invoices. Yeah, if they get paid earlier, they get paid earlier. Intervals, so. Based on payment schedule. You have, you, 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 I, I, I believe that this contemplates a schedule of deliverables that, that you'll know in advance, and there will be, that would include Because they some, are going to schedule of invoices. payments that are due. 10 days or five days and 15 days. I don't want to be, you know, uncourteous to the client, but uh, I mean to, to the <coughs> contractor, but uh, I think that this will eliminate a little bit uh, of over, of pressure over the finance department. Um, again, the commission can go ahead and, and suggest a 30 day, um, you know, may want to amend that to, to just provide a 30-day payment uh, time frame after invoicing. Okay. If we are going to propose any changes, uh, it's better to do all the changes or one by one? 
uh, all of them. Uh, as you like. Okay. Uh, you, these are questions that I want to be on number five, item number five on page four out of five. On the last line, say clients agree to release all from liability of the work performed. If you are the, the, the consultant or the contractor, uh, you have to be responsible for the type of work, the quality of work or the, the completion of, of, of the work uh, that you are performing. Uh, if you read oh, prior, this refers to right. no, no. I read prior, but if only client suspend the project for more than sixty days, we reserve the right to negotiate the balance of our fee to reflect current personal and project restarts cost. Should our services be terminated without breach of our obligation, the owner or client agrees to release us from liability of the work performed. So in this case, uh, the city have to release any... The, the way I read this section, what this section contemplates is basically if we... It's not related to the quality of work. No, it's not related to the rather to the work. breach of contract. Oh, not, not even a breach of contract. In other words, if the city tells the consultant, stop the work, don't do anything else, or if we terminate the their their their, their the uh, contract exactly, mm -hmm. and they haven't breached anything. In other words, we see in, you will have an incomplete product, and I think well, what but this that's contemplates our responsibility, absolutely. But no, but, that, but that's what this contemplates. If we stop the consultant from completing that work, then we release. That's them what that from, section from any liabilities. Now in the in in, in the. In the first sentence, it talks about a suspension of the work for more than 60 days. Mm -hmm. uh, as I read it, if the consultant has to hire additional people to continue doing this work, and if the city basically suspends the work for 60 days, then that means that whatever resources that, that the consultant has hired to complete this work, you know, they, they may be incurring that cost or there's an impact to the consultant. I mean, I don't want to make their case here. I'm simply trying to, trying to convey to you what, what I, my reading of that section, that it, it's an impact that the city may be placing on the consultant, and the consultant saying, listen, if we have to re-engage, there may be an additional cost to that. Okay, so. I got something to the chair. No. Go ahead, Commissioner. On 505, the ownership of documents, I think I'm basically going to learn something here. I just don't mm -hmm. see it. It says that the, the documents produced by NC office on this agreement shall remain property of NC Which office. number, uh, Commissioner? 12. Oh. On, page on page 505. <clears throat> yeah, that's always that way. May be used by the client for any endeavor without the consent of NC office. Yeah, that's... O owner, client... But then it says, owner client shall have use of documents prepared under this agreement up to current receipt payment. Yeah, that, that we keep that because there's been some uh, firms that have said, you know, uh, after we finish a document, after the fact, <clears throat> ownership reverts back to them. Now, what they're saying is, you know, they're, I guess they're making the assumption that uh, if we have ownership, it's because we've paid. Um, I, I, I disagree. Mm -hmm. I disagree. Yeah. It's actually the opposite. What this yeah, is saying is the first thing that the city will not retain ownership of those documents. That we may be able to use them as long as you know under the, you know uh, as long as we are current in our payments under this agreement. So uh, I know that was an issue that that, that had been discussed well, with so staff, that we have that we have to pay and that we paid. <clears throat> but it says here that all documents shall remain in the property of NC office. And they shall not be used by by the city maybe, without their consent. Maybe. So this I think thing, if we this pay is for it, we should be able to use it. No. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll we'll scratch that after something no, has been me, done for us. We keep it. Correct me if I am wrong, uh, Guillermo. Uh, I think that is customary that is a firm makes uh, drawings and makes uh, x amount of work for a company for a client. 
you pay and you have a hard copy of that, but it's their ownership. And in the majority of cases, they don't, they don't, they don't, if I want, let's say a CD from all those drawings of the project, they are not obligated uh, to release it to, to the client because it's like a patent that is theirs. It's not no, doesn't belong pay, to nobody. But you pay them to do that. You, you, you well, and get, you use it, and you're gonna do you the pay project. You pay architect for your pay. plans of your house. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a chair. If you pay for plans for your house to mm -hmm. an architect, that's like him saying, "Well, when we're done with the project, I keep all the plans and I keep everything, and it's my my paperwork." Well, but I add, I I ask for or a CD of all my of all my drawings you, you, and say, you, you, say you, no, you, those are mine. You would always have access to those documents. Okay. You may have yeah. to pay an additional fee uh, to get additional copies, but I, I mean, I'll, I'll let that we go. yeah we we have a professional engineer here that can provide. Yeah, if I'm, okay. If, if I may, how you doing, Frank? It's not how you doing. It's not my contract. You guys are discussing, but just in general, uh, the way that typically works, yes. If 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 the city pays for the services and the documents, the city will retain uh, the ability to those use those documents still. within the context that you paid for. Right. So the only you know. I believe what, what what her contract states is if you don't fulfill your 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 payment obligation to her, then then you, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have to that. The documents. So all right. Uh, but typically, yes, you pay for the the services, you pay for the design. It's 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 the owners. Uh, the, the city is the owner of it. So the language here uh, denies that right to the city to to. You said own a client for any other endeavor without the consent of the well. We will have whatever copies uh, of those plans we receive under this agreement. If at any point in time we may need additional copies, for example, there, there may be a charge incurred, but other than that, we should be able to receive the copies as long as it's for the purpose that is outlined in the agreement. Um, but if I can't do yeah, it, sure. go ahead. what it says, though, is that may not be used by owner client for any other endeavor without consent of NC office. So if we're, we're, we they do a, a master plan, let's say, f for doing something at a park, and then we don't do it with this project, and we come up with another project. And say, hey, but we got all the plans from before. We're we're not allowed to use it. Well, it's like I mean, if it's like the example you made of the architect. So right. if you hire mm -hmm. an architect to do your house, uh -huh. like you can't take his plans and sell them to your buddy to right. do a house. You know right. that that's. You have to use them for the intent that, that you paid for them. That, uh, that's what, whatever purpose is that? Are yours or yours? No, no, oh. because the, the it, it's oh, the, the yeah, the, it's the the architect or the engineer responsible for right. for the oh, documents. Okay. Right. But for the purpose that you paid for, absolutely, it's yours and. Oh okay, uh, I didn't know that. So the purpose outlined before in the agreement you, itself. Before you, uh, Don, no, I'm sorry, commissioner. No, no, I'm done. Uh, before you go back to your seat, Frank. Uh, this uh, 15, going back to the 15 or the 30 days, usually in your contracts, uh, the payments are uh, are due within 15 or within 30 days. It really depends on the client. I don't. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to speak for for, uh, for okay. Elizabeth, but I I would venture to say that she doesn't have a problem if it was 30 days. Right. It's well. I mean, informally, I don't know if it's on paper, but the city has always said up to four to six weeks. That's that's been said in the past. So. Uh, 30 days is reasonable for a municipality. Okay, that's what I was trying to explain. Okay, I have no any other issues except that I would like uh, these terms and conditions for professional service. Um, the payment is due within 15 days to be changed to 30 days. Do we need a motion to I have a question. Go ahead, Commissioner. On the resolution itself, I, I read here that it says, whereas Tiger Awards are expected to be announced in mid-2017, thus this service would not affect the current 2015-2016 budget. That's on the first page of the resolution, mm -hmm. near, near the middle of the page. Then, at the bottom of the page, it says funding source shall be impact. Impact. Going to the page number two, mm -hmm. 
and currency fees from the following categories, transportation, roads, general government, parks, and police. Mm -hmm. My question to our attorney is, I know it's not going to affect our current budget. It's going to affect the uh, next budget, 2016-17. But we need a better definition of the amount of impact fees from each of these categories, or we don't really need that because we don't have that budget yet is, is a question. Uh, yes, that was part of an earlier discussion uh, with you, Commissioner, and I think that staff may have some more specificity uh, relative to the to the different categories of impact fees that that, uh, that may be utilized. Uh, I believe it's got some percentages that we that we can actually incorporate uh, as an amendment into the resolution to give the specificity that that. that that you're alluding to some reasonable estimates uh, that she and I discussed. Uh, she and I are both familiar with the lay of the land, and she's very familiar with how these projects are implemented. Is uh, forty percent uh, transportation, forty percent parks, ten percent general government, ten percent police. Uh. Mr. Attorney, can we incorporate that in the amendment? Absolutely. Uh, e even if we say estimated, because mm -hmm. it's far a year from now, next budget, but at least those percentages, even with the word estimated to do. It's a little vague. Uh, uh, absolutely. And, and, and if I may, uh, Commissioner Soros, I want, I'm going to go ahead and anticipate uh, probably the next the, the, the next issue, which is again also that that, that was discussed with with yourself and staff, uh, which is clarifying that <coughs> clarifying the language in the resolution and in the agreement as it relates to uh, what triggers the city's obligations under this agreement, and it's essentially that this. You know, the city's obligation under this agreement are, are contingent upon an actual award, award of Tiger Grant funding. Uh, and, and, and I believe that there are statements to that effect in the resolution and in the agreement. But for purposes of the clarification that we discussed earlier, uh, the, some of the language that, that, that perhaps could be incorporated uh, could be as follows. If you look at the the six whereas clause that reads currently whereas work will be strictly contingent on the awarding of Tiger Grant funding and will commence only when given a notice to proceed uh, from the city of Sweetwater's mayor. Uh, just to just to clarify it, I mean the the, the the term work the, the term work it may you know could be misconstrued and perhaps we can just change that to to say, whereas this agreement is strictly contingent upon the awarding of Tiger Grant funding, I think that 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 that's clear. That's, that's clear cut. Yes. And 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 along the same lines, uh, incorporate or, or change in the NC office proposal uh, the line immediately after the first paragraph on page one of five where it currently reads, work will commence when given a notice to proceed from City Sweetwater Mayor, contingent of the, there's a type of rewarding of Tiger Grant funding. Uh, perhaps the, the, the clear statement here could be that the city's obligations under this agreement are contingent upon an award of Tiger Grant funding. Uh, and I can go ahead and outline the what statement as far as the notice. She put rewarding? Rewarding, yeah, okay. just, just a typo. Uh, so, and, and I can incorporate... Yeah, and what paragraph is that of page one? If you look at page one of five... Mm -hmm. On top. Okay. This, the announcement would be the award. We would get a letter... Correct. If we could use the announcement upon the announcement of, that would be good. That way everything can start uh, concurrently. It's up to the commission. At, that point, at the point that an, an announcement mm -hmm. is made, that could be the trigger of the city's obligations. It's strictly on the commission to to decide whether that's the, that way, whether that's the trigger. It runs concurrent uh, with that, and the announcement is when they say, "Hey." Understood. Understood. <coughs> 
<laughs> the way it's currently drafted, it's it's upon the the, the awarding the and the notice to proceed. The reward grant funding. It should be said. It should say rewarding or awarding. It, it should be awarding. Oh, right. okay. It, exactly. Announcement. Uh, we you want to switch it by the announcement? Yes. Announce, announcement. But announce, uh, announcement is not the same as awarding. Once uh, once it's announced, it's followed by uh, by an award letter. But we would want to start How about announcement slash award. <laughs> yeah. 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 About if we include both? I think everybody yeah. has. I I whichever I, comes first. Announcement and awarding. Right. The, the the question for for. For I believe staff may be to what extent there is a gap between an announcement mm -hmm. and the actual award of funding, because if if right. you I believe that what what you're looking at if you have an extensive gap, no work is going to be done even though you already know you're going to get the money, and you got to and 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 so it's up to the commission, but well, it's awarding, it's awarding is more precise. Awarding is when you actually have the money, the money in your hands. Yes, but you 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 also have to remember because one thing. I was I was told that I was gonna get money for the parks and the uh, water projects, and the governor vetoed it. Yes, and it was announced, but it was not awarded. That's so I, I like I like I like yes. to be at the word awarded. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. The, 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 only, the only thing I, I, I would have to highlight in your example, Mr. President, is that <coughs> there was never an announcement because it didn't go through the entire no, process. No, I understand. I understand. So I, I'm just trying to, to make understand. a comparison, but I know <coughs> once, it's, once announced, this is announced, it, this, it's because this it is. was awarded. Yes, in other words, this is not something that could be later on reversed or vetoed or whatnot. Announcement would, uh, so, would allow us to begin working. So, but any problem quickly. by just writing a warning? There is th th there is no problem. Oh, the by, there is no problem in making the trigger the award date. Uh, the only thing that I highlight for your information is that from the time that it is official that you, that, that the, the award is announced, mm -hmm. between that time and the time that you actually have the funds awarded to you and your funds are in the city's coffers. Um, it, that it could be a substantial amount of time, and in that during that time frame, you will have no work being performed. Not only that, but remember that you are, uh, and, and this is the last the, the, the last item that actually connects to all of this, uh, as far as possible amendments, and that is some statement in the resolution that that provides that to the extent that it is uh, allowed and to the extent that it is approved. Uh, that when you have the Tiger the, the, the Tiger Grant funding, um, that that the city can be reimbursed from the Tiger Grant whatever monies it spends from impact fees in the front end. So there could be a reimbursement component. Uh, I, I think a statement along those lines can be incorporated in the resolution. To the extent that it that that it's possible, to the extent that it's allowed, could be if approved. Yes, uh, to reimburse the city for 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 those impact fees that were spe you know spent. Now, again, the the agreement anticipates that there will be some that, that, that once the the city's obligations are triggered, whether it's at the time of announcement or whether it's at the time of award, uh, you're going to be utilizing impact mm -hmm. fees. And then, if if uh, if, if approved at the, the specific time, you you're gonna have a reimbursement coming from the Tiger the Tiger uh, award funding. But this is not provided uh, here, no. No, no. But I'm suggesting incorporating incorporate the reimbursement, it, yes. the potential reimbursement of those impact fees uh, out of the Tiger grant as part of this resolution. Mm -hmm. But but I say that highlighting for this commission that. The commission, if the obligations are triggered, whenever they're triggered, you're going to be utilizing impact fees. Impact that fees. is the funding source. Yes. So, but so potentially, the city could go ahead and 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 initiate this work and initiate all this planning. Initiate all this planning. Uh, well, in advance of it receiving any Tiger Grant funding, because you're not going to utilize. The Tiger Grant Fund initially, you're gonna you're gonna utilize it if allowed as a reimbursement 
of those and, impact fees initially. Spent. And if allowed, there is the possibility and of reimbursement. That, 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 that's why it's, it, it, it will be drafted along those lines, if allowed. Okay. If it, it would be advantageous amongst announcement, why? Because they want to see that the city has other stuff going on, that they're not the sole uh, funder of, of everything from the beginning to then. So amongst, upon announcement would be a good thing, even if we have to come back here to provide a comfort level. Okay, so we can uh, suggest the, the city attorney to change the wording here, contingent on the awarding of the Tiger Grant funding, I'm subject to reimbursement from the Tiger Grant if, if feasible. Permissive reimbursement oh, permissive is allowed. Legal, yes. legally okay. If it says award, don't even bother signing the contract. Announcement is the word you need, and I can explain why, if I can just explain it. For how long are you gonna explain that? Explain it as few words as you want me to. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> First, you have to ask yourself, why are you signing the contract? The reason you're signing the contract is your grant is almost worthless if you're asking the DOT to pay dollar one. They want to come into a project that's already moving. Your project isn't moving very far. The only thing I have for evidence to show your project is moving is that you're starting the master planning process. And the only reason we're here tonight is so it'll get signed tomorrow so we can reference it in the grant. So it's important strategically to have a contract that's real and signed and ready to go. It also has to start work on the announcement. Now, here's the process. Once they go through all of the reviews, maybe 20 cities around the country win this thing. It's a hard competition. And if they win it, they're going to start they're going to start negotiating with you right away as to the terms of those agreements, which are not hard, that, that are hard to do. I did them with FIU. But they always are asking you, well, what are you doing now? And so we need to say from the moment of your announcement, we have let loose the planner to make sure that what we want to build fits a plan that you all want. So you want to get this plan done and voted on before the end of uh, 16. So if we get an announcement in September, she ain't got a lot of time unless she starts immediately. Because somewhere in January, February, March, they're going to try to start the project with you. <clears throat> and you don't have your master planning done. So we ran into this problem at FIU. We had to upfront money to do some plans that we never got reimbursed for, simply in order to capture the grant. So uh, what I'm asking is the word announcement. When they announce it, they're going through with it, assuming you abide by their contractual terms. It's a formal announcement of the Florida DOT. There is not subject to veto. There's no legislation that <coughs> can undo it. It's a done deal, subject to signing the contract, which takes about six to eight months to get signed. But in that process, you need to have those plans going because they're going to like that in terms of knowing when they award you the grant that they're not putting in first dollars. You put excuse in me, first excuse dollars. Excuse me, Tom. So what you are explaining us is that if we write the word awarding, is going to take a longer time. It's going to reduce the value of the contract. They're, exactly. It's going to reduce the value of the contract in the grant. We want to say, you've already launched your project. Look at this contract. And as soon as they look at the contract, they know that this contract doesn't mean anything because nothing's going to happen until after the contract is awarded about a year from now. Because so from the announcements to the awarding. Six, eight months. So it's better to go with the announce, announcing yeah, the uh, announce words. Dates. The, the announce dates is st strategically important if you want to win the grant. Now remember, we file the grant Friday. They don't even announce until September. Then it's, it's about the first quarter of, of 17 before they, they finally sign. We need to have the master plan done by then. Yeah, so that, that expedite the, 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 the all the, the, the project by six months, six, yeah. seven months. It's, it's, a, it's a concept I explained before that it's kind of like a bank with private businesses. The, the government doesn't be, want to be the only person putting into this. So okay. we're Hold saying, on, hey. Uh, do, you, do you agree, uh, colleagues, on, on the words announce, announcing and awarding? Bergy, you want to? Well, the question I have then is, from what he's saying, is that, Compared to what uh, Mr. Quad was saying, that if they they announce that we're getting this, that we're going to be able to get reimbursed for no, no. So that's one issue. 
that we can start the project sooner, six months no, sooner. No, I understand what he's saying about because I'm sorry. The, 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 the awarding... Uh, no, the whole idea is to get them to, to understand that we are going to go through with this project. We don't need their first dollars to start it. We're going forward with it. Mm -hmm. and then they want to jump on board because they like it and they want it and it's innovative and then all that good thing. But the idea being that we want to be covered that if something does happen, but he's saying that nothing is going to happen. You're not going to be covered. It's a risk you take. So do you want to prime the pump or do you want to keep pumping that that pump? And because you didn't prime it, you never got any water out. Right, right. So you got to put you got to put some money at risk. I'm asking you just to say, if they don't get an announcement, you're, you're off the hook. But if they announce mm -hmm. they're going to give it to you, you got to start priming that pump or no water's coming out. And, and, and Commissioner, and that's why the language that, that I was referring to is not, a, it doesn't say that, hey, we're going to get reimbursed. It's to any extent permitted. And if there is any funding available to be reimbursed from Tiger Grant funding, a, to, to be open to that possibility. There, there, there are administrative costs built in, in you know. Um, that we have to. Yeah, that, 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 we can, that we can obtain. Not necessarily as reimbursement, but just in case you have the okay, language so, there. So, if I can. Go ahead. Um, so we leave the word announcement, and then we can put some language in there that says if. If permitted. If, if, if permitted and are announced and awarded the project, and if permitted, we can get reimbursed for. Our you, you, you could, but you really don't want to. Tiger grants require you to match funds. So we're going to have this discussion later. You've got to put in match funds. And, and, and at least at the current level, thinking when we get to the agenda item, you take all the match funds you got, all, all the impact fees you got, and you're going to lay it on the table. You're going to get three, four, or five million dollars, assuming the next two buildings come up. And that's your match against 30 million dollars. Right. So you've got to put in your own money because Tiger right. isn't free money. It's supposed to be 80 20. And we're going to use the mechanical garage, which we're going to talk about a bit, as part of the match. And, th and that'll get your match better. So, so the art of matching requires you to put up money. Your best source of cash, which they like to see, money at risk, because it's a joint project. You know, they're, they're not the only one putting money in. It's got to be your impact fees. You're simply going to spend your impact fees right where you're going to spend them anyway, on your sidewalks and on making the city beautiful. So the very same purpose you would have spent your impact fees on now get counted as match. So including this $70,000 will be counted as match to the project which is required. You can't avoid match. By the way, that is a negotiation you will have with the DOT, and we're going to try to get creative mm -hmm. on a match, like we did the last grant, where they allowed us to use the transfer of land as part of the match. So so they're a little bit flexible on match, but they want to see some cash. Um, and the cash is the impact is. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Gufterson, just for, for clarity for, 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 for the, 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 the different uh, amendments to the resolution, for clarity purposes, <laughs> I, so you are suggesting to the commission to go ahead and and utilize the turn the, the, the trigger of the announcement of, mm -hmm. uh, uh, of, of the award number one and number two not to add language relative to reimbursement is that is that what I'm understanding mm -hmm. this, this should not be reimbursed your impact no, fees are it's going to be used either way to the chair. right yeah, not to negotiate for admin fees uh, Commissioner it's Suarez. It's important. Uh, Tom, I would like you to come to the microphone so we can have uh, your explanation recorded, please. It's a very good explanation. That's why I want to have it recorded. What I want to say, it's part of the strategy of winning the grant. You're not going to hear anything from me except I want to win the grant. I want the $30 million. That's just where I'm at. So everything I can to put spin that ball so it'll, it'll curve, I want to do. The best thing you can do is show that you're committed to your project and you're spending your own money. Since I know you're reluctant to do it, the word announcement makes sense. You don't spend a dime. You don't release that money until they announce. When they announce, you start spending. So this is the smallest piece. You'll have more impact fees spent on, in fact, the complete streets that we're designing. So you'll be, in the, you'll be spending about all your impact fees for the next three or four years just, just to get the match money right. So match is the most... The first most important thing is it's not first dollar. Second thing is you got to match. Those are the requirements of the grant. You can't get around them. And you can always say you don't want to do that, in which case the federal government says, fine, we'll go give our $30 million to somebody else. 
because match is required and having a project launched without their money being in it is important to score points to, to get to the shortlist. We're competing against 200 other cities. So you need to be a competitive grant. I can't do them. Go ahead. Two questions, ahead. just to be clear, just so I learn a little bit, Tom. Yes, sir. Um, does, this, does this mean, for example, the road impact fees? Yes. Every single penny from the complete city, north, south, everything, is going to go towards? No. We're going to be very specific and talk about the Continental Bank building when it goes up because right. it's right in the neighborhood. That's eight hundred thousand. The the university suites, because we're going to build a greenway from from one hundred seventh to one hundred ninth on Seventh Terrace as part of the plan. So we're going to make them locally relevant to the projects. So we only know of those two projects that are ready to go. So we can count them and we can count the impact fees you have in the tank right now, which came from either the Commons building or the Plaza. So we're using just, we want to use just those impact fees that are directly related to these buildings that are going to get the benefit of the complete streets as we build that network. Okay, so we're not going to be using any of the impact fees from, let's say, the north side, the commercial area? Uh, we weren't intending to unless the... No, no, no uh, because those, that's, I, well, there's other plans for that. That's why it, Exactly, I no, no. Those you were, can't throw everything in one basket. That's those right. were taken out of the equation. Okay. It's everything that's incidental to University City. But at the same time, the master planning services are not going to include any planning of that area okay perfect and, and just just an informational point you also have concurrency fees right yes and, and we're going to use this okay so yeah that's okay that's fair yeah concurrency is for the same mm -hmm. purpose though so. yeah so do we have a motion um just, just clarity of two points i don't know if this commission is set on the term announcement uh, so we, we have to approve the amendments first? No, no, no. I, I, I can go ahead and read out to you the, uh, the, the overall amendment okay. to this. I, I, just, I just need clarification on one point, whether or not to leave out the, the reimbursement uh, language I based mean, on Mr. Gross' yes, recommendation. Yes, I think we can leave it out. I, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That so was just an option to, to negotiate for admin better. fees, but we don't need to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it sounds so, like, oh, it's kind well, of you bad. might be kidding, but it sounds <laughs> better. It won't be a major <laughs> loss comparing but to what we're bringing to in. But that into the, to the federal government, right? Yeah. If you spend the money, you right. get a nice, faster plan. You're going to use it for the next grant after this. All right. Well, we're good. We're good. good. It's and, needed anyhow. And, and so let me, let me point out the different elements of, of, of the, the, the amendment. Uh, number one, the, to... On page just one, bear with, just bear with me for one moment. On page four or five of the proposal slash agreement to change uh, the due date of payment after invoicing to 30 days. To 30 days. Yes, sir. Uh, to go ahead and incorporate on the bottom of page one and the top of page two of the resolution. Uh, the, the percentages of impact fees, the, the, the approximated percentage of impact fees uh, that are going to be utilized, which are 40% from transportation impact fees, 40% from parks impact fees, 10% from general government impact fees, 10% from police impact fees. Mm -hmm. uh, the third element is to announce Page one to, go, to go ahead and and to make the the six whereas clause read as follows, whereas this, whereas this agreement is strictly contingent on the awarding of Tiger Grant funding. I'm sorry, on the announcement, on the announcement of an award of Tiger Grant funding, and will commence only when a given when, when only when given a notice to proceed uh, from the city of Sweetwater's mayor. Uh, and lastly, on page on the announcement of Tiger Grant funding, on announcement of, of, of an award on the announcement of an award of Tiger Grant funding. No, announcement. Announcement. Just announcement. 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 It should be contingent upon the announcement. Right. The announcement, the announcement of what? Announcement on board of Tiger Grant funding. But that's what I'm saying. That contingent upon the announcement of the award of Tiger Grant funding. Uh, similarly, on page 105, the sentence immediately after the first paragraph, 
uh, to eliminate the sentence and and incorporate the, the following. The city's obligations under this agreement are contingent upon an announcement of award of Tiger Grant funding to, to make it a, a congruent with the resolution. Mm -hmm. And that would be your amendment. Okay. So I had a motion by Commissioner Duazo and I second by Commissioner Bergignan. Uh, all in favor, as, an, as amended. As amended. As amended. As amended. All in favor say aye. 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 Resolution passed unanimously. And we move to the eternal issue of item number seven. Ratification of department heads co-requirement. Talk to the mayor. If you could. Okay, uh, the mayor is not present and uh, we continually bring uh, this item to every uh, commission meeting as, as uh, stated on the code of ordinances and the city charter that uh, directors uh, have to be ratified by the commission. Mr. President, do we have that item in the regular agenda from Monday? I don't see it. Well, if not, we will put it as an addition to the agenda. Yes. Put, it, put, it, put it as an addition, please. Uh, okay, so we don't have a, a director yet for the, for the police department. Uh, we continue praying that they bring one. Okay, well, Madam Claire, before, uh, well, this is a commission, a special commission, and I don't want to, uh, I can't bring any other issues, but I will tell you after the meeting. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Move. Move. Moved by Commissioner Duazo and Barreto, and second by the entire commission. All in favor say aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned at 9.02 p.m. Thank you, everyone. Four years more.